Let's go! Hey Westside, welcome back to Terrier Table Talk. Today I'm joined by... Mr. H. And... Coach Griffin. And today our topic is just getting a little behind the scenes into the halftime show. Without further ado, Mr. H. Yes. Um, how was this, how would you describe this football season so far for the band in terms of enthusiasm? Oh, it's been a lot of fun. Um, this is my seventh uh, time bringing the, 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 the group onto the field, the seventh field show that I've done, produced in a way. Um, our theme this year is uh, 2000 pop sensations. Uh, who, who couldn't get behind that? Um, and we're, we've been really having a good time learning the music, learning the drill, uh, and supporting the team, which is, the team has been just killing it. So, and, and that just makes it easy too, because pretty much we just play the fight song all the whole game because <laughs> they scored touchdown after touchdown. Uh, but the halftime uh, is, is, our, is our show. Uh, the football players leave and then we take the field. Uh, and so that's game time for us. And uh, yeah, we really love our show, I think, this year. It's been a, a, a lot of fun. Awesome. It looks like you guys have fun out there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> well, that was my next question, was about this year's theme. Last year, it was Metallica. Yep. And this year, 2000's Pop Sensation? Yes. What was the inspiration for that? So this was totally student-generated. Um, uh, two of my seniors, Ganell and Natalie, uh, came up with the idea um, in the springtime. They said, hey, Mr. H, let's play songs that, that maybe a few more of our student body can relate to. Uh, some, some big themes. Um, they were talking about Beyonce at that time, Crazy in Love, um, which is our, our favorite piece, I think, of the set. Um, but um, we ended up going into the 2010s. So I don't know how old you guys were in the 2010s, but um, I think elementary school or kindergarten. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, we, we found some artists, and uh, they all ended up being uh, female artists, female superstars, Lady Gaga, Jennifer Lopez, uh, Rihanna, Beyonce, and, um, and it just, you know, their music is just so recognizable, mm -hmm. so much fun to play. Um, and, and no complaints. You know, usually we get a couple kids in the band who are like, I don't know if I, I like these songs or whatever, mm -hmm. but everyone, you know, is, is going for it. So mm -hmm. I know I'm loving the theme yeah. this year. <laughs> no complaints from this side or that side. Thank you. Um, and shifting gears a little bit, Coach Griff, how would you describe, or can you please describe for us your role as game day announcer, and um, what do you hope to add to the game experience? Yeah, sure. Um, you know, number one, it brings information to those that are in attendance, you know, what's going on during the game. You might have a situation where there's a penalty, and those the spectators may need to know, you know, what was the call, what's going on, you know, I know the scoreboard is up there giving a lot of information along with the 45 points mm -hmm. that the football team's putting up every mm -hmm. week. But it also just gives them a chance to understand, you know, what was the penalty? We understand it. Oh, this is why, you know, not only just with the game, but, you know, also throwing it back to the band, letting everybody know that there's performances coming up. Stick around for these things. Mm -hmm. You know, we have our concession stand that's doing, you know, a tremendous job with their delicious west side of whole world famous baked potatoes that they have uh but a lot of a lot of the things that are going on not just on the field 50 but 50. that's going on in the complex itself 50 50 concessions mm -hmm. the band the game mm -hmm. uh the cheer team you know anything else that may need to happen so it's just getting everybody involved in the in the game no matter where they are absolutely i think you do that very well thank you thank of, you of course um, and how do you prepare for the games? Do you have any vocal warm-ups or? Well, definitely it's, it's all preparation with getting the rosters. You know, that's the first and yeah. foremost thing. So I want to say a thank you to athletic department that gets all that information to me, you know, going over a roster because the last thing I want to do is butcher somebody's name mm. over a microphone, over through the city of West Springfield that everybody hears this. So getting the names correct, um, you know, but also to with talking to Mr. H, what the band is going to do, 
what time they're going to come out. Mm -hmm. What do I look for? Is he giving me the Yeah, hat? you and I do a lot yeah. of like timing yes. things. Is like, it a thumbs up? Yeah. Is it a hat? Is it... Okay. Uh, yeah. I always got to follow <laughs> H around and make yeah, sure I see him. <laughs> and I have to make sure I see you. As it's soon so as he fun. gives me that signal. And, and again, it's all timing. You know, yeah. just as he knows yeah. when it's a halftime show, it's, it's or timing. Or the pregame, mm -hmm. the, the, yeah. the team runs out at a particular time. And they're very, very like, you know, particular about that you know Labonte would be p pacing back and forth <laughs> like you know when am I gonna let these horses out you right. know mm. <laughs> and so so yeah, yeah so it's it's definitely just getting all the information that's needed so what he wants to do what the what the band is going to do when they're coming out and again to go back to the other avenues that are going on during the game What's the concession stand selling? Is there anything special? Does the swag table have anything new that right. they want to promote and right. get people over there? 50-50, you know, everybody loves hearing their number when they win and make sure that that's them. So a lot of those, those things to make sure all those things are all lined up. Nice. Yeah, that's... That's incredible. I had no idea that yeah. it was that complex. A hat mm -hmm. or a thumbs oh, yeah. up? Like that's oh, it's the hat. And I and that's I and I kid all the time when I'm up top because I, I look around in H if I'm correct, you have a blue hat on. Yep. But the band all has blue on. So I'm trying to follow and make sure I see what else he might have on. Oh, I better mm. change the colors. <laughs> okay, I'll, I hear you. I hear to you. make sure I know, but I, I keep a good eye on him. I keep a good eye on him. Wow. Oh well, thank you yeah. for that. Um, Mr. H, yes. shifting back to our musical perspective, um, how do you ensure that everyone is ready for the game? Like, what does rehearsal look like? Um, so we, we start, uh, we, we practice once a week um, outside of class. I mean, we play the music for the first four or five weeks in class, memorize the music in class every day. It, that's a lot of hours to, to learn six or seven songs by, mm -hmm. by memory. Uh, but the actual movement and field work we have to do after school. So the kids are committed to meeting once, once a week, uh, Tuesday nights, um, from the start of school up until we learn it. Um, and then on game days, we actually, um, when the bell rings at uh, 150, we head down to our practice field and um, our routine is to, to play the whole show twice through right after school on Friday. And then the kids go home and then they come back to dress up in the uniforms and head on up. And of course, we always start the whole thing off with band camp, which is a, mm. a lot of fun. <laughs> uh, in August, when uh, the teams are just getting started, we are also out there in our practice field getting started, going over basics, um, learning you know, how to march again, because everyone forgets over 10 weeks, and, mm. uh, and then learning the new drill, the new show. So yeah, a lot of hours go into it. Um, sure. You know, I, I was adding them up last year for Metallica. It was a, an insane amount of hours, but it's always worth it in the end. Wow. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. Because the shows are great. Thanks. Mm -hmm. um, has the band faced any challenges so far? And if so, how did you guys overcome those? Um, I would say um, we're smaller this year. Uh, so we lot, we had a really great group of seniors, um, 25 seniors, mm -hmm. uh, and they all graduated as they should. And um, our incoming freshman group was was only half that. So we didn't really replace all of those empty spots. So we're a little smaller. Um, that COVID bubble in the elementary school, I think, is catch caught up to us a little bit. So. So it will be a couple of years here where we have a, a, a little bit smaller group. But so when you have smaller uh, members, um, people out in the field, everyone's got to play just a little bit bigger. You know, it's our mm. sound. Try not to get that sound lost on the field. Learn how to project. Learn how to get the, the music out so that people get excited. Um, that would be the challenge. And, uh, and, you know, they're doing a good job with it. And it keeps getting better every game. Nice. Wow, so many new perspectives <laughs> this this time around. This, and I hope you're learning too, because I know I am. Um, moving right along into our audience interaction section, have you found any particular announcements that resonate well with the crowd? Well, definitely when I have to say a, a loud touchdown terriers, mm -hmm. which is then followed <laughs> up by the by the fight song, which again you hear constantly throughout <laughs> throughout the game, but. I guess that's a good feeling because mm -hmm. it, it. 
I'm saying it a lot. They're playing a lot. The team's scoring a lot. So mm -hmm. it all goes hand in hand. But um, no, it's it's having fun while I'm up there too because I have been a part of the field. I've been a player. Mm -hmm. I've been a coach. Now I've been uh, obviously a parent watching my kids play, but now seeing it in a different different light and a different point of view, but really still enjoying and having fun while I'm doing it. I actually started doing this, I kid you not, I was the the football, the team dad one year for my son on the Wolverines and I was on the opposite side of the field and I was holding the chains and whoever was in the, in the announcing booth, I couldn't even hear him. So I had actually went up at halftime. I said, hey, you know, I used to do this before I played and coached and you know everything else I said. If you need a hand up here, I don't mind doing it. He literally said, "Here you go." Wow. So since then, uh, since 20, 2014, I want to say, wow. we've been doing it up at Clark. We've been doing it for Wolverines games, mm -hmm. along with the Terriers. So uh, yeah. Ten years, well practiced. Yeah. That's so cool. Um, can you share for us a memorable moment from this season, past seasons? Well. I'll start with past seasons first because this one, this one just touches home a little bit. That uh, seeing my son play mm. along with my father, who comes to the games, still comes to the games, even though my son's not playing anymore. But <laughs> he still comes to the game. So Josiah's playing. My father's there. I'm announcing and having you know three generations out there, mm. uh, you know, partaking into the game. And and again. That was actually my son's first his first ever game, first varsity game. Wow. Called his game, uh, called his name during the game too. So that was a very uh, touching part on my end. Uh, but then going to this year, it's always always opening day. It's always mm -hmm. the first the first mm -hmm. one. That's the best one because you know finding out you know what the band is doing when they're coming out. We had the presentation of the colors mm -hmm. also. So mm -hmm. it's a big production for pregame and then once everything gets started you just see everybody in their movements and it just keeps that game time experience going nice nice that's so beautiful yeah. the three generate yes. love stories like yes. that yes um and i know we had spoken about this a little before but now a question for both of you is what does collaboration between your two roles look like yeah at on well, game day uh i see things that Coach Griff can't see, like when the team needs to or about to come out, mm -hmm. he can't really see. So I have to like signal, okay, so here, the team's ready, they're coming. Now you make the announcement so that, because it's a show, you know. I mean, we do it better than anybody. I mean, Of course, um, then of course the next time we collaborate is right before halftime and when my guys like inch up on the field and, and then we set up the platforms and the equipment and then, you know, okay, here's the show. And now taking the field for your halftime enjoyment, you, Russ Winkler, Mark Terriers, under the direction of Mr. H, and assisted by John Major's Joey Mark Terriers, and Wally Dehiva. Assistant band director Jenny Murphy Sapowski and color guard coach Shelby Ryder. This is your full show featured pop sensation superstars the Lady Gaga, Jennifer Lopez, Beyonce, and Miley Cyrus. The band will perform a number of themes from the 2000s, including Poker Face, Bad Romance, On the Floor, We Found Love, Crazy in Love, and Party in the USA. So now, please sit back and enjoy the show. That's so pop, 2000. And then he announces us, and that announcing, you know, he he talks about us. He and he he acknowledges who our student leaders are. He mm -hmm. he says all of this important stuff that that is, you know, part of of who we are and what we do. So he's the voice of what it, we do. It so. makes it makes the whole 
again, from start to finish, the whole game time experience work because, yes, it's the pregame, but we also need the national anthem mm -hmm. to get the game going. Mm -hmm. So they're on point. I got to make sure, again, to, to announce at the right time when the anthem is coming up, but also make sure that everybody in attendance is paying attention because we do have the band playing for, for the best song that's out there, our national anthem. Yeah. But then also the anticipation, and I actually have on my script every week to when there's a timeout, when it gets close to halftime, mm -hmm. to make sure that, hey, you know, sit tight, don't go anywhere. We've got a performance by the band coming up. We've got a great performance by the band. Or this is the the theme mm -hmm. of the year. So try to build up a little anticipation and keep everybody around knowing that, you know, our band is coming up. And with, I mean, the performance, you know, on the field and the way the band actually gets the, the spectators involved also, mm -hmm. it's a really good scene too. Yes. All right. That's so 2000s pop West Side. All right. Yeah. And I'll, t and I'll tell you, one of the best parts uh, that, I, that I like of the performance, and I also got to pay attention because I also like to give them their credit after they're done and, and get the crowd to even cheer them on a little bit more, mm -hmm. is there's a part during, towards the end, that Bradley Gahegan turns to the crowd and at one point I actually thought the performance was about to end so I'm grabbing the mic really quick to mm -hmm. to say the ending and he turns around and he's clapping and he's getting the crowd involved and you can just <laughs> hear all the spectators that are there clapping along with the performance of the band yeah. too so it's that that togetherness during the game that, that makes it work that's so nice. We definitely have a nice community here, yeah. football community, just community as Westside, um, definitely. And thank you, and I think I can speak for all the student body when I say this, but thank you for being such an iconic voice of Westside. You're welcome. I, I'll be honest, growing up, my family always said, I mean, my father said you should do something and take classes. Mm -hmm. So that's why I did take the classes in college, you know, just to enjoy these experiences that I'm doing right now. So. Uh, I love what everybody is doing here. This is a great thing, and, and keep up the good work. <laughs> Will do. Yeah. All right, well, thank you to both of you. That's all we've got for today's episode of Terrier Table Talk. Make sure to tune in next time, next week, I believe. But bye. <laughs> Awesome.
Thank you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, you did such a good job. Thank you. 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 Thank you.